Animal Crossing time. Hello everybody. I don't know why I'm singing at you. It's time for Animal Crossing. This game has come out at the perfect time when everybody is just hiding away inside. Well, not everybody, but most people are self-isolating, social distancing. But look, this is the best way to do it. Sat on a bench, looking at shooting stars with an imaginary rabbit. That's so much better than hanging out with people touching each other, isn't it? So hopefully you've all got your games as well. But for anyone who hasn't got it, I thought I would do a little video of what I was doing last night by myself with a load of animals on a desert island. So anyway, welcome. This is what happens when you first turn it on. You just have to sit and listen to Timmy and Tommy jabbering on. And then they start asking really personal questions, by the way, like, what's your name? And how old are you? And all of that. But you know, security's tight. So you've got to get it right. And everyone's health is important. So they're probably, that's why they're asking all of those questions. But once they've done that, they tell you that you need to design what you look like. Oh, this just took me forever. It always does. It always takes me forever to do this. And I don't know why, because you've got four really terrible haircuts there. I mean, I kind of like that one, that kind of, you know, pigtaily, bjorky thing. But there's not really much to choose from. At least there's that nice color. So anyway, I sped this up. I'm gonna drink a cup of tea. I suggest you do the same. I've got a, a massive pot of tea there on the go because I'm gonna need it to get through this video. So it looks so much better, doesn't it, with blue eyes. And then I couldn't decide between those sparkly ones or just the regular old open ones. So I went with the open ones and I really like those little eyebrows as well, but you can change it later, I hope. But I just couldn't decide. So I went with that. I didn't really like the round nose. So I decided to go for the triangle nose and then this kind of half smiling, not smiling mouth. And then the thing that I was really upset about is I wanted rosy cheeks. Like not just fakey rosy cheeks like that. I want the big bright red orange cheeks that you used to be able to get in the DS one. Okay, I'm gonna drink some of this tea. ASMR warning, I'm just telling you. Mm. Oh, I love tea. One more slurp, just letting you know. Mm -mm -mm. Right, there we go. So I went with that. I'm not a fan of the um, outfit, but at least the eyes match the, the jeans. But I kind of had to go with it. There wasn't really much options. And then they go on and on and on again. And now this is the hard bit where they tell you what island you want. Honestly, it took me about half an hour to just pick my eyes, pick my hair and pick the island. But I think I chose okay. And now I'll show you the four that you can pick from. I definitely knew that I didn't want two rivers going down the bottom. I wanted one on one side and one on the bottom. So first of all, top left and top right, definitely don't. So it was a kind of like a decision between this top right and top left. And what I liked about the top right is that it's got this like, in the top right, in the top left of the top right, I kind of wanted to put my house there. And then strangely in bottom left, I want to put my house in the top of the right of that. Top left, top right, top right, top left. Now in the end, I went with this one, this bottom left one, because I really wanted to put my house right in that top right hand corner and have that little beach as like a private beach for myself. But dilemma, right? What I didn't realize is you can't even get over that river. So it was so mad and I just could not get over that river because you need a stick or something, or a bridge. And I haven't got a stick and I haven't got a bridge. So unfortunately, my house isn't really where I wanted it, but I still, I'm still gonna enjoy it, I think. I'm still gonna like this one. Yeah, so that's the one that I've gone for. It's got a nice sticky out bit thing. It's got a nice little private beach that I'll be able to get to at some point. And I kind of like the river and I'll probably put my house at some point if I can move it up, up, with, the, up with the waterfall right at the top. But yeah, that's the one I went for. And now I'm on the plane. They don't give you a safety announcement, they just give you some entertainment. ASMR warning. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. That's Yorkshire tea. So here we go. Now this is dead exciting because you get to see who's living on the island with you already. 
there's going to be two animals there. Oh, and I've got pears. I'm glad about pears. I wanted apples or pears. I don't want peaches because they just look like bums, don't they? So yeah, so I was quite happy to see that I got this kind of vibrant pink rhino there. I've always liked the rhinos, but she's got an awful t-shirt on that I just hate. It's, it looks a little bit like a sailor's, a sailor's t-shirt. It doesn't suit her, does it? She needs something a bit better. And then we've got this cute teddy bear thing here as well, but they're so rude. They're not very friendly so far. Listen to what he says. Talk later, jog on. And she's not even said anything. She's just marched off. And I try and catch her up and say, would you want to have a little chat? And she's very rude. Want to get behind? Let go, let's go. Want to get left behind? I can't, oh dear, I can't read. It's, I'll tell you why I can't read. It's because I was up till 2 a.m. playing this. And she, the way that she walks. So I, I need to warm her up, I think, with like a cake or something. Anyway, so this bit, they just chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, chit chat, and give you a tent. And then you've got to figure out where you're going to put it. And then the tent will become a house, and then the house can become a bigger house. So I'm going to have a little wander around. It's quite nice, really. It's quite a nice layout. I think there, though, I'm going to put a bridge at some point because it seems to like fit on the other side. So this is just me exploring. Oh, and has anyone else got this problem? I cannot walk past a tree without shaking it. I've been playing Pokemon Sword, no, Pokemon Shield, right, for months, shaking berry trees every day. Now I'm on Animal Crossing, shaking fruit trees every day for sticks and twigs and fruit. I'll be shaking trees in the real world. I cannot, I get the urge sometimes. Ah, so here's Poncho, look. He's quite nice, but I think he's one of those sporty ones, look. He wants to train his body and his soul. I don't like those sporty ones. I don't like sport. So anyway, I don't like sport. I don't like sport people. I don't like sporty people. So I definitely don't want that bear in town. So he's, he's allowed to move on. He's friendly though, but I just, I like the lazy ones. I like the snooty ones and the lazy ones. It's a good combination. I don't know what she is yet. Oh. She's weird, isn't she? She's very weird. And as soon as I can, I'm going to change her outfit. Renee. Renee can't decide. Look at those eyelashes as well. I don't think she's ever taken those eyelashes off. So I'm still picking a place for my tent. And I think I'm going to go and head up here and plonk it somewhere in that top right corner. So I got excited about this little jutty out bit. Not that bit, that's the big beach. It's great how big the beaches are. I like hanging out on the beach with people, so I'm glad to see that there's so much space on those beaches. So yeah, you see this pit, this little sticky out section there, right? I kind of wanted my house on there because I love the idea of having like a fairy tale castle style thing on the edge of the ocean. You know, like Daenerys' castle. Is it a castle? That rock thing that she lives in with that big table and no windows. I kind of wanted that vibe there, but actually this is more like her place, isn't it? I think so far that's my favorite area. I'm gonna put some chairs on there and maybe the campfire at some point. So yeah, up there, look, on that bit on the right, that's where I want my house, over that water, but you can't get over it, I've tried. So hopefully today, after I finish this video, I will get a stick to leap over that water and start exploring that half of the, of the island. So yeah, I think this is gonna be a good enough spot for now to plonk the tent. It's in that kind of area. I, I wanna be up, up that kind of corner of the island. And now he's gonna imagine where it's gonna go. Yeah, I think that's a good spot. I like it, keep it. I like all this um, fruit ready to get picked as well. I like pears. Although you can't really see them very well. They kind of blend into the tree, don't they? But I don't, I don't mind that. I want, this, I want to, it to be a very tree island, tree-like island. So I've put my tent down. Now I need to go and help the others decide where to go. Now I don't like him because he's sporty, but what I do like 
is that this this mouth area matches this shirt area and then that stripe area matches its legs so even though that is a sporty kind of thing a sporty kind of person a sporty kind of bear they've got better style than that pink one I don't know what she's thinking with this nautical theme. It'd be interesting to see what her house is like. I bet she's got all of these like nautique things around, you know, like a boat and an anchor on the door. And She's probably got one of those signs in the kitchen that says, you know, I'm the captain. She's probably got a mug that says captain on it. And then some sort of poem about keeping the place ship shape. If you don't listen to me, you've got to walk the plank or something like that. She's not a live life love kind of person. She's more of a ahoy matey, swab the decks and I'll feed you some food from the galley or something. That's what she's like, I think. We'll see anyway, we'll see what, we'll see the way that she decorates. I'm, I'm, I've got a feeling it's gonna be as awful as the way that she dresses. So anyway, he's all set up. I've got to go and find her now, Renee. Oh, Renee, what's she thinking about? She's thinking about her life choices, wondering whether she even should have come to this island. Mm. She's grabbed a stick and thrown it. You know, what kind of... You can't live life with that kind of abandoned, kind of peculiar attitude, can you? I need to help her out. She's a lost cause, she is. With a strange sailor's outfit. Give me a tent. You go and sit down, have a cup of tea. Yeah, you do that, I will find a lovely place for you. And then you know what, I'm thinking, I'm thinking she could go down here in the corner so I could like keep an eye on her so she's near me. And then I thought, no, I don't want her near me. I'm gonna put her next to him. Cause I feel like she needs a bit of supervision. I just think she's, she just needs a bit of help on this island settling in. And that little sporty bear is the kind of thing, the kind of guy, the kind of gal, kind of them who will look after look after her that's me just pouring another tea by the way while I'm waiting for that yeah look at that that's good that's good I really wish that in real life you could just imagine something like that it'd make a lot of things easier wouldn't it right brilliant there we go Renee's got her place set up so now we've got to go back to the plaza for another little meeting. Oh yeah, what happens here is they're tidying up for a ceremony. So I now, I wanna put my feet up after I've done all of that work and have a cup of tea. I've gotta run around gathering twigs. Gathering twigs so he can make a fire. ASMR warning, by the way. And again. I did that on purpose because um, I know some of you like it. Right then, I think I've got enough twigs for him to make a campfire. You know what, it's, it, they say campfire, right? It looks more like a kind of ceremonial, you know, pyre, campfire, not a campfire. You know what's frustrating as well? I want to catch them butterflies and I, ain't, I can't do it because I, I ain't got a net. Right, so I think this is it. I've got my stuff sorted out. Let's have the campfire. I've got the tree branches. Yep. I always give I always give a little bit more than people ask for. That's that's a good a good kind of attitude for life, don't you think? You know something else that I've been thinking about? You know Tom Nook? Look at his Tommy. Do you think that Tom Nook has put on weight since the last game. I think he's relaxing a bit now. He's he's not working as hard as he used to. But you know what? He, I, he's been doing it for years, hasn't he? So it's time it's time for him to sit down and have a couple of extra biscuits. Yeah. So he's I've given him some pears as well. I've given him pears and sticks, and he's going to make this fire. And they were all gathered. And we're all clapping. Oh, he likes clapping. That went on for a bit. So here we go. Get the fire started. And I think we all have to clap him again. What an achievement. 
And now then, this is the naming ceremony. Right, this is funny, this is. This, this made me laugh when, when I did it. So, I'd been thinking for weeks what I was gonna call this island, and I kind of fancied Serenity because I wanted a calm vibe to it. And I really loved that film and that series. Um, but I had that on my DS, so I decided not to. Then, I quite fancied um, Ayaya from Madeline Miller's book last year, Circe, which was my favourite book. And if you haven't read it, you should read it. It's about a, a witch on an island and she turns all the men into pigs. It's great. And I kind of thought I'd do that and then just have only pigs. But then I thought, oh, what about some really nice animals? I don't want just pigs. Then I thought I'll do something funny and I thought maybe I could call it KS Island. But then I thought I don't want everyone fighting. So I want it to be a peaceful island. So in the end, I just thought of Oakwood because I like trees and I thought it would be relaxing and full of trees. And yeah, so I just, and I couldn't think of anything else. So I decided to go with Oakwood. And thankfully, I think the animals liked it, but you ought to see what they come up with, honestly. Right, watch it in a minute. Just see what the suggestions that they have. Look at this, Isla del Biceps. That sounds like a drag queen name. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Isla del Biceps. And then what did old Pinky call it? Um, Guitarbra. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the stage, Guitarbra Streisand. They're ridiculous names they are, so I'm glad that we've gone with Oakwood. ASMR warning. Mm. Mm. I'll tell you something, I have not been stockpiling toilet tissue like the rest of the world, I've been stockpiling tea. Oh, I can live with that toilet roll, you know, I've got leaves. I've got leaves, I've got a lawn. You know, I can, I can make do, but I cannot make do without tea. So I've got boxes of the stuff. So what's this then? Awkward silence before the toast. Oh, grab your tea, everybody. I haven't got pear juice, but I've got a tea. Here we go. Without further ado, a toast to Oakwood and the happiness of its residents. Cheers. Here's my warning. Mm. So this is after the ceremony. She sat down. He's playing a little tambourine. I love chilling by the fire. Yeah, look, workout routines. I don't want workout. You don't go to a desert island to do workouts, do you? You go to sit around and do nothing. So he's giving me permission now to sleep. So I decide to accept. And then I have a little stroll back to my tent and I put my bed up. Oh, it's a camping, camping cot. So off I go. I think I take a little detour just to look at the moon. There we go, back to the beach. I really like this rock thing. I might actually put the campfire there if it'll let me and some really nice like reclining chairs so that I can just sit down with friends and look for shooting stars. But not right now because I haven't got any money. So I'm gonna go to bed. But because I'm obsessed with shaking trees and picking fruit, I'm gonna grab a couple of pears for a midnight snack. And then Oh, a lot, a lot of midnight snacks and, and, and some weeds. Then we go. Very basic, I'm afraid, everyone at the moment. Look, it's just cardboard boxes, but a big box, a little box. Okay. Now that's not Radio 4, so I'm turning it off. I'm going to put my bed up. I really like that little camping cot. I've got one like that in real life, you know. When, um, oh, there it is. Rest my head. And then for two, about two seconds, you get to sleep. And then someone's knocking on your door, wanting you to come up again. Knocking on your door. <gasps> knocking on your door, Tom Nook. Oh, and this, right, this is very awkward. This is like two old guys talking about technology. So there's some strange, peculiar, awkward silence again. Probably because I've only just woken up bit more than a nappy. They are a little bit sharp, aren't they? I needed it. I needed it. I was running around building tents for everybody all day. Chillax. Oh, I've just said chillax. 
How embarrassing. No one says that, don't they? Oh, I'll be doing lit next. Right. So here we go. Here is Nook Phone. Now what happened here is, I think in real life, I fell asleep. Because this awkward silence went on for about eight minutes. I either went to the toilet or fell asleep. So there we go, I've sped it up. Sped it up a little bit so that we can get through this awkward thing because no one wants to sit and look at those two just staring at that phone trying to figure out how to turn the thing on. So, yeah, you can watch the trees whistling in the wind. And then any second now, we're back to it. Put it away. Yep, put it away. Turning it on, taking it out, putting it in again. And look, this little thing here in the middle, I know it's supposed to be an island, but it reminds me of that Monument Valley game. Have you all played that? I love it. I love the music. One time I had a track from that on in the bath and I fell asleep to it and it was on repeat and it was only one night. And then at the end of the year, I got that thing from Spotify where it says, here's your top 10. That was on the top because it was, it's like about a 30 minute bit of music and it went on and on and on for about three hours when I was in the bath asleep. Anyway, he's just teasing me about being suited to rustic life because I've never owned a smartphone. And then this bit of trickery, not only am I offended by the Z in that, I'm also offended by the trickery. He gave me that phone. He gave me that phone. And now he's saying I've got to pay for it. Sneaky, sneaky nook, snook. Well, there we go. That's just part of the game, isn't it? We all have to accept that. We're just doomed for a life of shaking trees, but that's nice. I'd much rather shake trees than go into an office, which I don't do anymore. Um, that was a strange clap. Right, let's carry on with this, the Nook Mileage Programme. At this point in real life, it's like 2 a.m. or something, so you've got to forgive the sluggish button pressing. So he's just telling me about how much debt I'm in. And I can pay for it in miles, so that's good. It looks like he's in pyjamas, or is that his actual shirt? And something is in my post box. Oh, finally, they've left me alone. My new life is underway, I can do whatever I want. Woohoo! And you know what I wanted to do right then? I wanted to swim in the sea. I had a sudden sense of freedom and I just wanted to go for a swim. So I just thought, I wonder if there's any more clothes I can wear. What I didn't expect is it would take them off. But I actually prefer that look because I don't like what he was wearing before. So I just thought, I'm gonna take all my clothes off. I can do whatever I want. So the clothes come off. I'm on my own desert island and I have just a crazy bit of a run round really. And then try and go for a swim in the sea. But guess what? Doesn't let me. I wanted to go swimming with that fish. Maybe, maybe there's a safety issue there. Maybe there are sharks in there and I don't know about it. And it's midnight or something. It's 2 a.m. is it? Oh, 1 a.m. So there we go. So then I decide to go and have a chat with the animals. I thought I probably should put something on. And I just thought I'll try that shirt, but it just, it wasn't working for me. It's not a good look, is it? So off it comes, I take the whole thing off and just walk around in my underwear. Yeah, much better, much better. And there she is, look, creature of the night. There she is, up. Yo. You know what, she, um, she reminds me of a woman I used to know in Nottingham from the 90s, yeah, and that old. She used to have mascara like that. And I think that she would just put a layer on and then the next day put a layer on and then another layer on. She had layer upon layer of mascara. So much so that it kind of looked like a, I think maybe she had about five, four, between four and six lashes on each eye. How many lashes do you have anyway on an average? I, 
eyelid. Should we get, oh, if anyone knows, let me know. Let's have a guessing game. I guess, oh no, I should know this as well. I'm not even gonna guess because I'll be embarrassed if I get it wrong. 100, no. 100 eyelashes on each eye? No, that can't be right, can it? Anyway, what's going on here? I'm rambling on. Um, oh, I've got to make a fishing rod. I've got to make a fishing rod. I've already got some, oh no, I've got to go and get some branches. So I go out, collect some branches, come back in, make a fishing rod. Yeah. Make something else. Oh, love it. You know what I love about that? The applause. You just shake a few things around and you get clapped. There's not enough applause in life, is there really? Now, now, did you see that thing then? I, I'm telling you now, I didn't. I'm just in there shaking for trees, shaking for, shaking for twigs. I did not see that creepy creature until I watched this back. freaked me out. So what am I doing here? Oh, popping the campfire in outside. Now I am going to move that at some point, I think, because for me, I think it's a bit too close for that tree to start with. Fire bending. Too close to that tree and also too close to my tent. I do not want to burn that tent down. So I've got my fire set up and then I think, oh, I know, I'll try out my new rod. Oh, you know what? I'm so out of practice, right? I used to play Animal Crossing every day and I've not done it for ages. I just, look at me, aiming it behind it. You do not aim the bait behind. Look, one nibble, two nibbles, and I just pull it away. Failure number one. So I go and try it at the beach instead. I'm like, you know what? More space, bigger fish, it'll be a lot easier. Mm, failure number two, what's wrong with me? I think it's just out of practice. So I go on a mission now. I'm like, I am not a failure. I will catch a fish today. And there's one. And I think this is the success. Yes, success. And it would be, wouldn't it? Sea bass, the first one. It's always the sea bass. So just fishing. Fishing in my underwear. That one, flat one. And then I go and try and get another one in the river. But she's there as well, so she's I've got I've got a competition there with old um, night owl there. Pinky. What was her name? Brene. Renee. Yes, third fish. Oh, you know, I forgot how terrible these puns are. And I'm a fan of terrible puns. Here she is, Renee. See, she's more interested in meeting fish than she is with me. I don't know what I did there. I think I just did that to annoy her. And then I just thought, give it a try. Try and chat with her, you know. See, look, she doesn't, she moved here on a whim. I knew that. She hadn't thought this through. And now she decides to sell fruit and weed to try and um, make herself go bar, you know, sort herself out. Oh, this, what this is. This is a bunch of flowers, flower seeds that I forgot to plant. So I must plant those today because I want, I want red pansies around the house, around the tent. What, do, what happens now? See, I've got a, yeah, moth. Catching a moth, success. This is me, back on my favourite rock, learning how to make an umbrella. And have another go at catching a fish. I'm really excited about that yellow umbrella. Not yellow umbrella, leaf umbrella. They're just so pretty, aren't they? A little bit more fishing before, um, before bed. That's, that's a river fish, not a sea fish. Obviously, everyone knows that. What is it though? A crucian carp. Right, so this is when I decide I want my own personal workbench. 
this is reading the notice board. I like making notices on the notice board to be noticed by people on the notice board when they notice it. One of my notices on the notice board. You know what? I can't remember what I was doing by this point. I think I was just wandering about, wandering about trying to warm up, warm up um, maybe see if I can catch a moth or something. Oh, and then that happened. This beastly creature found me, bit me, and I woke up in my tent. I couldn't believe it, honestly. I jumped out of my skin when I saw that, when it got, when it did me, when it did me in. So now I've got the rage. I've got the absolute rage. And I, I know you can't see it because I've only got one expression there, but that is rage. And I am determined to find that creature of the night and show it who's boss. So this is just me. I'm, de I'm determined to find it. Look at me, I'm fuming. I'm fumed. Oh, not so fumed that I won't pick up a shell and a rock. You know what, I do that in real life. I've got so many coats with pockets full of twigs and stones and shells. And I'm kind of hoping that that spider or whatever it was is on that beach because you can't see things in the trees very well. And that's how it did me in the first time. That's me practicing on a rock. I thought, you know what I mean? I'm rusty with these tools. I've got to practice with it. You never know, you know, especially so. And there it is, look. <gasps> there it is, the beast. Stay away from me, you beast. There's a more warning. Go and eat some. Oh, look, it does this thing with its legs rearing up to come and get you. Look, it's doing it again. It needs to stay away. Eat bread and calm down. Stay away from my husband, beast. So I have got to get it. I want to get it and I want to throw it in the flames. No, I don't really, because that's cruel. But I just want it away. I do not want to get, I don't want to get attacked again. So this is the stealth mode. Look, I'm going to sneak up from behind and grab it. Ooh. Ooh. Got it. I cannot believe I got it. A tarantula, a hairy tarantula. <sighs> Stresses me out. I didn't think those things came until summer. And then he puts it in his pocket. But you know what? He ain't got a pocket, has he? Ugh. That tarantula has gone straight down that underwear. Not a nice thought. So straight into that tent for some protection. That's what happened there. Whew. Oh, and then Tom Nook got really excited because I was showing him all of these insects. He gets on the phone to old Blathers and says, here, here, old Blathers. There's some guy running around this island in his underwear, show it, putting him in his underwear. I think you need to come and open a museum so that he can put these creatures into an exhibit and not down his pants. Anyway, look, he's exciting. He's excited. Exciting and exciting. He's not exciting, is he? You know who I really want to come to the island? The coffee shop. And I am going to build a coffee shop right next to my house. Oh, now I've got to go back out, back out into the world and find a place for the museum. And I don't know whether you can move this once it's decided. These kind of decisions stress me out. Like it's so, oh, I don't know what the word is. Concrete. What's going on there? Ah, uh, before I decide where I think I need this, I need this leaf umbrella because I love them and it makes me feel like a little Arietti or Totoro or something. They're so nice. I'm so glad we get it so early on because it's super pretty. And I don't know where those weeds are going, but there we go. So I thought I could put everything in one line, but it's too big. It won't fit there. So I think I experiment with the other side. And then the thing is, I've got a dilemma there. And I remember my house is up there in the top right. And then this like town hall place is here. So I don't want that museum being in the way. I don't want to end up hating it because I have to walk around it. So it might look nice, but yeah, 
It's a nice tent that is actually. But I've re I I've rethink it, thankfully. And in the end, it goes above, just behind like that. I don't want it too close to the river because I'll be walking up and down there fishing. But I do like that. My favorite bit is the dinosaur bit though. I don't. I always feel a bit bad about filling it with the, the insects and the fish. I think they should be better off in the sea. But anyway, I like the dinosaurs. I like the fossils. What I love about it mostly is when it's empty, you can hear your footprints going. Yep, so there he is. He's all settled in now. He'll come tomorrow, hopefully. A couple more things for sleep. A couple more, a couple more pears for some midnight snacks. And then what goes on here? Oh, I know. I was fiddling around with that phone and figured out that you can do these face paints. I thought I probably should try a design, but then I got really carried away putting them all on my face. Look at that. That is a tree on my face. And I kind of like it, but I was just intrigued by the other patterns. So I wanted to try the others out. So I think, yeah, uh, vine, I like the idea of his whole face being covered with vine, like a green man, but it's just like a weird forehead bit and like cheeks. So it's not quite good enough. So I thought maybe this, these little dotty, 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 dotty pigs, these dotty patterns would work better. But look, it done A, I do it wrong like that. And then B, it just, it just so doesn't quite do what I want it to do. Look, it looks like green blotches. It looks like, oh, you know what it looks like? It looks like that. Um, so yeah, I left it for some reason. I've left it on my face because it needs a bit of color. I really want like a green top, but I ain't got one. So I've, I've got green spots on my face like grot bags. So there we go, never mind. Rolling around in my underwear. Oh, yeah. And then this happens, shaking a tree. And I think I'll get the net out and catch those wasps. What a failure, look at that. What a sad, tragic failure. A face stung by wasps, one usable eye, and that eye is half open, a face full of green, virus spots it's not looking good not looking good but i do get a wasp's nest out of it so whatever i can do with that i don't know i'm having a go at building something there a flimsy axe because i need to chop a bit of tree chop a bit of tree and whack a stone but look i thought i'll have a go at trying out the keyboard it's very difficult so I'm going to have to do it on my phone, which I've only just realized you can do, and that will help. <sighs> Sad. Put some clothes on and go to bed. He needs a good bath. Oh, that's what he needs, a good bath. So before he goes to bed, he has one last stroll along the beach. And then faffs around with his phone for a few hours. That's a dangerous place to play with your phone. It could, any second now, that could be in the ocean, couldn't it? But here we go, passport. And you know what's important about passports? That you look like your passport photograph. There's nothing worse than like, you're not looking like it. So I thought I need to update that photograph because I don't look like that. I look like that. And no one's going to believe me any different. So I retook the photograph. My beautiful, stung, spotty face. And that's going in my passport. There we go. And then it says add a short comment. So I thought while I'm in here, while I'm updating my, um, updating my passport, I'll add a comment in. I was going to put welcome, but that, that doesn't make any sense, does it? So. I decided to change it to let's put the kettle on or something. That was it. Shall I put the kettle on? You know what? I've nearly drunk. I'm just going to check. Oh no. I'm just going to check. That's me. Got a bit of tea. Got a bit of tea left. I thought this was empty. 
but that was a pleasant surprise. Shall I pop the kettle on? I don't know why I didn't speed this up. Painful to watch this is, isn't it? Sorry about that. ASMR warning. Oh. Not warm enough, but to do. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. You know what? I need a teapot cozy. A tea cozy, do we call them? Teapot cozy? Tea cozy. Teapot cozy. No, tea cozy. Anyway, back for one more go at fishing. I think I'll give it one more go before bed. I get a fish that I've not got before, which is good. A metal fish. Oh, and then if the night couldn't get any worse, my trusty flimsy fishing rod disintegrates into nothing. It's not very trusty, is it, if it's a flimsy fishing rod? So there's nothing else I can do apart from faff around on my phone, looking at this Critopedia thing. And then I think I call it a night. <gasps> I call it a night, but I'm taunted by a floating present. Now, we all know the only way to get a floating present out of the sky is to fling a catapult at it. Well, you don't fling a catapult, you shoot a catapult at it. Have I got a catapult? No. So what do I do? I don't give in. I know it's not going to work, but I improvise and I start waving things around. For some very bizarre reason, I think that I can wave a stick at it, but I can't even hold a stick, so I don't know what that's all about. So I get the net out. Now, I'm not the best with the net yet. But you know what? I really want that present. I don't know what's in it, but... I mean, this is embarrassing, this is, just watching this back. I, I don't know why I'm continuing to do that, because it's very clear that it's not going to work at all. So I don't know what's going on. I'm just making a fool of myself. You look bad, you're acting bad. Shame. I even try spinning the umbrella under it. Lord knows what that's going to do. You'd think it would make it go higher, wouldn't you? Anyway, you know what? I think I give in. Give in with that and just accept that some things are there to be looked at and appreciated, but you just can't have it. You can't have everything, can you? You know, I've got a leaf umbrella. I'm happy with that. I have one last sad Adele moment with it. And then wander off into the night with a stick and a pear, probably. Oh no, I, I walked past that pear without picking it up. That's almost like a tongue twister. Can you walk past a pear without picking it up? Aha, the ax comes in handy now. So these are, this is wood coming from a tree. That one looks like gold. And I need these pieces of wood to be able to make something. What was the thing I was trying to make? A workbench. Oh, and here we go. Another embarrassing net moment. Look, I'm trying to catch that thing. How hard is it? It's not even moving. No, three goes. Three, four. No. Shake it again. Five. Yes, finally. A little bagworm. And that goes down his pants with everything else. A little bit more wood. These are good trees. Serving up all of this hardwood, softwood, and one's just called wood. You can get hardwood, softwood, and woodwood. Oh, and a little roly-poly bug. I've got to catch that. Oh. Nope. Try again. Go on, one more time. Go on, give it another go. Yep, have a running jump. Still no. It's hard, isn't it? It's, it's quite hard to watch that. And ill-prepared, because you can't even carry the thing. Oh, look at all that stuff. Oh, that tarantula's still down there. Oof. Drop the tree branch. You don't need all those tree branches. And back into the tent for safety. Well, what an eventful first day. I am exhausted just watching that back. He's going to make a craft, he's going to craft a workbench and then call it a day. And the good thing though, 
I think I prefer crafting things in this tent because what you get here is you get clapped. You get a pro applause, a pause, a pause because they've got paws. Oh, that's dreadful, isn't it? That is worse than the puns that you get when you catch a fish. Maybe they need to employ me. Actually, if you want bad puns, do employ me. I need a job. Right, there we go. Plonked that, plonked that out there and it's just been too much. I've been stung. I've got a face full of spots. All my clothes fell off, but I've got a switch. Anyway, if you want to watch what happens tomorrow, tune in. But for now, I'm going to have a sleep and rest because I am exhausted. And hopefully tomorrow I'll wake up without a face looking like that. A face that only a mother would love. Bye.